For what purpose does the gentlewoman from Connecticut seek recognition? I ask unanimous consent to address the House for one minute and revise my remarks. Without objection, the gentlewoman is recognized for one minute. Today's Los Angeles Times, their column, when Kevin McCarthy's spending cuts get spelled out, even Republicans balk. My friends, the Republicans do not have the votes to pass their shameful cuts. What House Republicans have done is they have manufactured a crisis and a false choice, inflict pain and harm on hardworking American people, on children, families, seniors, veterans, or we will crash the economy. Why? Because they believe it will help them politically. My state of Connecticut, cuts would lead to 2,800 kids losing access to preschool and childcare, 12,000 mothers blocked from food assistance. This is my plea to the American people. Get on the phone, call Republican members of this Congress, tell them to raise that debt ceiling and to stop hurting American families. Let us make sure that they do not have the votes to pass these shameful cuts. And I yield back. 